Hi everybody and welcome to the ECG exercise number 19 regarding how to synchronize the right ventricle in a patient with tetralogy of follow. I hope you will enjoy it and join me in my future short video presentations. The patient is a 35 year old man with tetralogy of follow who had total surgical correction in 1988. In 2003, he received a pulmonary valve replacement and tricuspidal valve repair. Here we see his baseline ECG typical for these patients, right bundle branch block pattern and white QRS complex. In cardiac MRI, the LV size was normal, ejection fraction 53%. However, right ventricular end diastolic volume was 387 milliliter with an RV ejection fraction of 31% and MRI images showed severe RV dyssynchrony. In EPS study, there was a delay in activation between septum to RV free valve more than 120 milliseconds. And then the question is, how would we synchronize right ventricle in this patient. And in the next slide, you will see the answer. So after ventricular tachycardia, the patient received an CRT system after VT ablation. And as you can see here, we have right ventricular and right atrial lead. However, the second ventricular lead is placed on RV free wall. And in this way, we try to resynchronize the right ventricle in this patient. And in the next slide, we will see the ECG results. And in this picture, we see the final ECG results of right ventricular resynchronization and a small QRS complex, which led to improvement of RV function and RV size. I hope you enjoyed this short video presentation. I would like to invite you joining me here in my future video presentations. Thank you.